The Australian film industry is on at its best and brightest in a star-studded night in Melbourne. Gangland bloodshed, psychopathic villains and touching personal struggles were the most highly awarded themes of the night. The best film goes to the Black Balloon. The story about an Australian family struggling with an autistic teenager took out five awards in all. Congratulations, Alyssa. We did it. The romantic thriller Unfinished Sky also nabbed three gongs. It's always a bit of a chook raffle, but uh, I'm not giving it back. Underbelly made a killing in the television categories. It was our story, it's an Australian story, and it was fascinating. Fascinating enough to pick up six awards, including Best Drama Series, Best Actor and Best Actress. The writers for giving me dialogue, I just couldn't believe I was allowed to say. <laughs> Producer, writer and actor Chris Lilly scored three awards for Summer Heights High. I don't really feel worthy. I've only made two weird shows. Australia. Hugh Jackman was the it's reader's choice. But to get this kind of recognition from Australians, from the readers, it does uh, mean a lot to me. Kate Blanchett won the International Award for Best Actress and not surprisingly, the industry paid a special tribute to Heath Ledger. We are so proud of him and humbly accept this award. And after 50 years of the AFI Awards, The Castle was honoured as Australia's favourite film. It's going straight to the pool room. Yeah. Ray Warren, 7 News. <laughs> Great stuff.